I recently bought the Ubiquiti U7 Pro and since warranties are not really an option in my line of work, I had to take the access point apart and see what's inside. I was particularly curious about the fan that Ubiquiti seems to have added, something that I have never seen on any other Ubiquiti access point before. And bear in mind that I have opened the UAP AC Pro, the Nano HD as well as the U6 Pro and the U6 long range. Which is why I know how difficult the process will be because Ubiquiti likes to glue the top and the bottom parts together. And I'm hardly a fan of this approach because they can just use a silicone seal if they wanted to add any waterproofing because this is just ridiculous. Is the U7 Pro water resistant? There is a fairly large but narrow opening for the air to be pushed out by the fan, which means that no, the U7 Pro is not water resistant or waterproof. So at the end of the day, it's just a way to discourage the user from opening up the case. Lovely. I went ahead and started carving out the plastic top and yes, the bottom is metallic. And I suppose that if you have the right tools, it will be an easier process. But all I had were some basic tools, which include a hair dryer, a prying tool to forcibly detach the top part, lots of patience, and some inevitable wounded fingers to get through. If you go the same route as me, understand that there is very little chance to open up the access point without leaving any massive marks on the plastic, so essentially it's bye-bye warranty. After managing to reach the inner side, I could finally move around with a prying tool, slowly detaching the top part. And I know that I haven't filmed a portion of the process, but that's because I had to use a lot of force to move around, which means that the camera would have sat at a very weird angle. Afterwards, I removed the screws holding the board and I was finally able to better see the antenna's pattern and some of the main components, at least on one side. A few minutes later, I managed to detach the top part and as you can see, there is a cable that's attached to the PCB and is for powering up the small fan. It seems that Ubiquiti didn't trust that the passive cooling approach will be enough, but we will see in the full review just how effective it actually is. I took out the aluminum covers and these are the main chipsets. Pause at any time to get a better look. But where's the storage memory? It's on the other side, of course, so the best way to see it would be to detach the antenna's connectors and take out the screws, right? Yes and no. I could take out the screws, but the antenna connectors are glued into place. Why so? One could argue that it's a way to prevent them from detaching in case of any mechanical shocks. But then again, at that point, other parts may fail way before that, so I couldn't really take out the antennas. I ended up using a flashlight and a good camera to finally see what the storage chip was. Oh Ubiquiti, you just make things difficult for no reason. That's about it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.